If you want insight into how I keep up with everything happening in the news, stick around until the end of this video for an important offer from Ground News. I'm within like 1,400 subscribers of 700,000. This will be the last day until, you know, I'm getting close to 850 or 800. Uh, but please, if you haven't subscribed, if you just watch my videos because they get delivered to you, check and see if you're subscribed. And if you're not, help me get to 700,000. I would appreciate it very much. Um, since the guy took a shot at Donald Trump, <clears throat> I don't believe Donald Trump was actually shot. I believe something else happened, whether he got trampled on his ear or something hit him in the ear like a piece of glass or something. You don't get shot with that caliber of weapon from an AR-15, which is an identical, practically, uh, effectively an identical weapon of velocity and the, the, the caliber. All of those things, you don't get hit with that round or even have it pass by your ear and not even have bruising. Come on. But whatever happened with Donald Trump, someone did take a shot at him and it was an assassination attempt. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again, that when you incite, when you encourage, when you promote violence in politics, it's going to come back to you. You reap what you sow. You, you, what goes around comes around. You live by the sword. You metaphorically die by the sword, which actually comes from the Bible. In Matthew um, chapter 26, verses 51 and 52, you're daily Bible study from Jesse Dollimore. <laughs> uh, when, if you remember the story, if you're a Christian and you know the story, when, when they, they came to arrest Donald, or Donald Trump, Jesus, look at that. When, when they came to arrest Jesus, <laughs> uh, well, Peter, I believe, picked up a sword and cut off the servant of the high priest. And Jesus put the ear back on and healed him. And he said to Peter, this is what he said to him, <laughs> arrest he said, with that, one of Jesus's companions reached for his sword, drew it out and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. And verse 52, put your sword back in its place, Jesus said to him, for all who draw the sword will die by the sword. So you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Metaphorically speaking, I'm not talking about Donald Trump's death. But when you foment, when you incite, when you encourage, when you promote political violence, it's going to come back to you. The, the, the chickens will come home to roost. And now there's a conversation among people about what the motivations were of this 20-year-old man who, who took a shot at Donald Trump. A lot of conservatives, they tried to lie and say he was trans. He's not. He's not non-binary. It's none of the things that are spooky and scary about leftists or liberals or Democrats. It was none of those things. We don't know exactly what his specific motivations were, what the rationale, if there is any, uh, what those were when he got up on that roof and took a shot at Donald Trump. We don't know. But as a part of the oversight hearing yesterday, the deputy director of the FBI had some things to say about what they found about the political ideologies of um, Thomas Matthew Crooks. And you probably won't be surprised or shocked to learn that they weren't liberal ideas. Watch this. We believe that the subject, the shooter, fired eight rounds. While the investigation has not determined motive, the investigative team continues to review information from legal returns, including online and social media accounts. Something just very recently uncovered that I want to share is a social media account which is believed to be associated with, this, with the shooter in about the 2019-2020 timeframe. There were over 700 comments posted from this account. Some of these comments, if ultimately attributable to the shooter, appear to reflect anti-Semitic and anti-immigration themes to espouse political violence and are described as extreme in nature. While the investigative team is still working to verify this account to determine if it did in fact belong to the shooter, we believe it important to share and note it today, particularly given the general absence of other information to date from social media and other sources of information that reflect on the shooter's potential motive and mindset. These are the facts, in part, of, that the investigation has revealed to date. While the shooter is dead, our work is very much ongoing and urgent. 
One, let me say this. If the deputy director of the FBI is saying publicly in sworn testimony before the Congress of the United States, before the United States Senate, that they've identified 700 social media posts that they can't guarantee are this kid's, this guy, this man's, um, but uh, he's saying it, it means they're sure. He's not gonna just bandy this out there, float this out there without uh, convincing evidence that it was him. And you may ask, well, how would they know? Well, they've gained access to his devices. If he has an iPad, they've got that. If they've got his phone, they've got that. His computer, they're gonna be able to log into his accounts. Nobody has their computer, set, few have their computer set up where you have to type in your username and password every time you go to a website on your own home computer. When I log on to Twitter on this machine, I have two monitors, one here and one here. Yeah, I'm already logged in, just like you. So they, they got to his computer and they looked at all the shit that he's been writing, all the things he's been posting. They've probably gone into YouTube and seen where his account is and then extracted that data. They know what he talks about. Anti-Semitism, anti-immigration, talking about political violence, extremist in nature, he said. And what political party, which candidates uh, embody these elements? Anti-Semitism, anti-immigration, promoting political violence, extremist in nature. It's Donald Trump. Donald Trump living by the sword and, and Thomas Matthew Crooks helping him die by the sword. That's what this is. Uh, it, it is subterfuge and distraction from Republicans to try to act like the left is the nexus for political violence. It's just unfucking true. And even in the face of their political leader, their cult leader, someone taking a shot at him, someone who's not a leftist, we don't know again what the motivations are, but this should wake them up but it won't because it's just the natural course of order for them. It's the only way they know is to create chaos, not to lead, not to govern. They provide us chaos. They think it's a reality show. They, that's what they believe. They know, they don't, they don't seem to act like they understand that very real lives hang in the balance of governance. Whether that be through, uh, programs to make people's lives easier or actual functioning of government to provide security and safety to, to secure the homeland. All of these things, Republicans don't take their job seriously. Anyway, uh, I'd love to know what you think about this. Did you, I watched most of this hearing yesterday and for the most part, it was handled soberly and seriously to actually get to answers to make things better in this agency that I'm already suspect of. Um, it's only a few bad apples who act like dumb shits and uh, like the video I did earlier. Uh, I'd love to know what you think about this, though. You can comment below. You can talk about it there. You can also call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, as always, you can email me. I'd love to hear from you. Daily at dollamore.com. Help me grow this channel. Become a channel member for $2 a month. Click the join button below. See what's involved. You can also go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. There's a link below if you want to click it and see what's involved there. I would appreciate it very much. Subscribe. Subscribe. You can also follow me on social media. I am at Dollamore everywhere. I'd love to see you there. Uh, another way to support, though, is to take advantage of this offer from a great sponsor of a portion of today's video, Ground News. I recently posted a video about Judge Cannon dismissing Trump's classified documents case. Look, it's easy to feel helpless being faced with discordant news and headlines like this. I know the feeling, <laughs> trust me, I know the feeling. But look, we're not in a position in our country or indeed our world where a single one of us can tune out. We need to stay in this political fight. And the best way to do that is to stay informed. 
One incredible tool I use is Ground News, a completely apolitical and independent app and website that gathers related articles from across the political spectrum. Ground News allows readers to compare coverage to see who is spinning what narrative to their own end. Knowledge is power, right? It's not just a saying. So you had better empower the information you're getting with Ground News. Scan the QR code below or go to ground.news slash dollamore right now to score 40% off their Vantage plan, which allows you unlimited access. Ground News gives you a summary of each news story showing where the left, center, and right have focused their reporting, along with a visual representation of each news outlet's political bias, their funding, and thus their credibility. You can then compare coverage with full insight on any bias twisting the story, but you can take it even deeper with their blind spot feed, Ground News sheds light on important news that's receiving insufficient coverage from both the left and the right, which is something I try to do on this very show. You cannot change something if you're not aware of it. Empower the information you are getting by heading to ground.news slash dollamore or just scan my QR code below to save 40% off the exact same unlimited access vantage plan that I use for this show. By signing up, you'll be supporting not one, but two independent platforms working to make media more transparent. Ground News and the Dollamore Daily. Empower your knowledge with Ground News.